Okay, because OJ. I believe the lurch. He knows better so than I. Both, so I'm starting the game. Right. Uh, well, hold on. Add, I, I Ask the captains if they're ready. That's what I usually I like did. to do. Oh, all right. You're good then. Okay. I, I shouldn't have stopped you. You're, 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 you're on top of this. <laughs> I, I do my best. I learn from the best, Bane. You learned from the best. Well, that certainly wasn't me. <laughs> the best I had. Oh, all right. Lurch, Lurch asks in Twitch chat, "What do you? What should I have for supper, Bane? Is Bane the master of foods?" You should have. Oh no! Wait, we left the leftover meatballs at uh, at Minos's place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Lurch. I did that intentionally because you've got the ice cream, and honestly, it just lost to the Lambic, so I just don't even want anything to do with it right now. <laughs> but hey, speaking of last night, look what I have right here on my desk. A giant bottle of Jägermeister. Oh, this is I love it. <laughs> oh, I wasn't planning on drinking it unless we really want me to, but... <laughs> Alright, looks like first ban my Eve here. Does anyone play that except Krotos? I just like, people are banning the meta, but does anyone play my Ev? Um, honestly, I've seen Thys play Maev, I believe. I've seen Kratos play Maev, but that's about it. That's uh, interesting. I don't think a lot of people are really into the Maeve yet, because she is still pretty easily countered, if we're being real. Yeah. Yeah, Leader says she's not even worth a first ban. I'd say she's definitely worth a ban if someone knows how to play her. Yeah, I yeah. I, if people... I mean, three weeks of practice is probably enough to get her down enough to where you can be good at her, but I mean, I don't know. It's really easy to play around her if you watch her positioning. All right. Yep. Yeah. If you watch her positioning, she's easy to work around. Um, any hero that has, like, um, Unstoppable can literally just walk clean through all her abilities. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. What do so you think got... of the Blade Master? Oh, yeah, go for it. Sorry, I was gonna say we've got a Diablo and a Genji ban so far. Both pretty, pretty good bans. I mean, um, Abdel's on Team One. Abdel plays a real mean Genji. I've seen him get penta kills with a Genji, so that's a pretty good ban. I think Abdel's best, uh, best hero according to his profile is Genji. Hmm. So, I believe that. Interesting. Also, the Diablo ban is a pretty safe ban. Diablo is a good all-round tank. I mean, he does double the damage, and he has double the health, so you'd probably want to ban him. Merkabo says Abdel's Falstad is pretty legit as well, and I agree with that. I've seen him That's do true. some spicy picks with Falstad. Yeah, he Cut really up. he mastered that. First pick Zul'jin. I'm gonna guess that's Arve. Arve does like Zul'jin. We don't really. I don't really play against many Zul'jins, even in normal. I think uh, the Lucio's probably Lalzar. Lalzar's been going hard in the Lucio. But yeah, the Zul'jin pick. First pick is kind of. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. It's a bit risky. It is. I remember last week though, uh, Arve did have a good, good Zul'jin, some good Zul'jin games. He hasn't lost a game yet, and his his main mm -hmm. is Zul'jin, so yeah, maybe maybe we'll see a counter for that in the future. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if the red team's gonna pick counter to that, or if they're gonna let him roll with it and just be like, ah, it's all right. I do want X. That sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Hanzo pick. That's probably Dunks. Wait, is Dunks on that team or is Dunks on team one? I already forgot. Dunks is on team one. He's with Abdel, right? Yeah. Interesting. Could be Cell picking Hanzo. I've seen him play that. Cell sometimes just picks heroes as almost a form of a third ban, I've noticed. Like, he's picked Zarya against Goat. He's picked yeah. Greymane against a bunch of people. But also, that's because Greymane's legit. Three legit five me. Who do you think we're going to see picked on the blue team now? They want... What do you think we're going to see for a tank and a support on the blue team? Do you think we're going to see Abdel go on a... Uh... Oh. 
That's your answer. There is my answer. Stukov and Joanna. I was thinking, I was going to suggest maybe Abdel was going to go on a um, Chen. Mm. Abdel does play a lot of Stukov, too. I bet you he's on that. He's on the well, Stukov right now. I was, is on team two. Yeah, that's why I was also thinking he'd go Chen. Chen to counter the Sigi Chen. That, that's possible. As a form of third ban, like I was saying. Oh no, who's messaging me? On the Fache book. <laughs> oh, Evan, don't, don't. Um, all right. Let me deal with this real quick. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, yeah, exactly. Mouth ban. What's this gonna be? What is this going to be? Lucio Hanzo and Chogal. What do we think of that? They nah. need to. They need to have picked like an Anna or someone. Yeah. Mouthy all ban. Interesting. And who is a um, mouth ban? ban? Do you think they're going Chogal meme? <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's a really that's spicy. A, someone's playing in. Uh, that's what they're t talking about in chat. Bane, stop texting your dick pics. I don't know. Was that was that what he was doing? Well, I mean, it's Lurch. Lurch is sending me messages. I didn't send him the dick pic yet. Do you think I should? Do <laughs> you think he'd be yeah. into it? You think he'd text me back if I did? Only one way to find out, man. <laughs> I guess so. Hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom for a little bit. I gotta fluff it. I'm not gonna just send this the way it is, as is. Mark says, Mouth is a good band, one of the best laners in the game at the moment. I'd agree with that, just yeah. in general. I just don't think, uh, who are they banning against, you know? And an ETC ban. Hmm. ETC. Terrible. You know, Abdel was talking about how he doesn't like ETC controlling the game with Mosh. Yeah. You get a good mosh, yeah. then it literally will change the game. It'll end the game. Yeah. We've seen that happen a few times in the in-house. No, for sure. sure. Yeah, I I agree, Merc. It is easily counterable, but sometimes all your counters are down. Like, we've seen it happen a few times. Like, people go Uther and stuff to have the stun against the Mosh Pit, and then Uther will use his stun on something else during the engage, and then it'll just be down when they need it to counter the Mosh. We've seen teams that have several counters for it still get hit with it because they use all their counters right off the bat, and then the Mosh hits later. And now I've got a pick of Lunara and Dahaka. Interesting. That is interesting. It's a lot of damage on that team, you know? It is. It's a goodly amount. I think Dahaka was a pretty good choice for tank. He's a decent tank, and he's got some pretty solid wave clear that works to his advantage. Plus, they are the tide and the enemy is Driftwood. So, he's got that going for him. Yeah. Um, do I think Team 1 or 2 is going to win from the draft? Honestly, right now, Team 2, I think, has better wave clear. Oh, that Ooh. changes Holy things man. a bit. Yeah. Oh, that oh, might man. be Abdel oh, on Gazlo. There's the Chen. Um, yeah. All right. Wild card, bitches. I don't know. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. That Gazlo pick is going to make things real spicy. A lot of people that... don't like Gazlo, but uh, I've seen him done, especially by Abdel, actually, again, in ways that make me real happy. Like, he's a very <laughs> interesting Gazlo player. He definitely has played Gazlo really well. Oh! 
That's interesting. We've got Gisa on Gazlow. I haven't seen him play Gazlow, so that could be interesting. He's a he's the master, right? Yeah, something Dude. tells me that's going to be it, probably the be- one of the best Gazlow plays. Like, we'll yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to watch. It's going to be a real good watch. Why do I feel like I've actually seen him play Gazlow last two weeks ago? Was it? He may have. Yeah. You're right, because I remember seeing a Gazlow. You're right. I think I'm talking out my ass. Somebody definitely did play Gazlow in the league. I don't remember whom. If what's I had the... to guess, I think it was him. Is the... Is the... What's the Lee Ming counter here? Is it Chen? Who's going to dive on that? Uh, I, just, I just don't I think see Chen, how they yeah. can get her. Chen? Okay. okay. Yeah, Chen can uh, get her. Um, if Dehaka can get behind her with his um, stalking, he can give her the licky licky. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ellie Wan's going to have pretty good positioning, though. I don't think we'll see many times where they catch her out. Hanzo's I, I got think... that one stun arrow. That's actually pretty good if you stun her and yeah. then shit out a lot of damage on her real quick. Which Hanzo can do. It was me. I'm a Gazlo main, says Goat. Yes, I believe you. <laughs> I believe you are a Gazlo main. That sounds accurate. accurate. Look at Abdel with his nice little spray to start it off. <laughs> Lunar Rocket's a f- popular popular mount. I like the Sigia's mount and uh, skin choice, though. That's a nice combination. I'm digging it. Yeah. Look at all these lunar lunar mounts. Two it's C- like there's a holiday going on or something. Yeah. What's that yep. about? Harvey is solo soaking. No, no. he's just going. I think in he's a just way. trying to do a little flanky, yeah, a little right. dank flank. Trunks going in. Nope. Backing off. Now our base doing a solo soak. Interesting. Trunks going in deep. Ooh, that was a good blind. A lot of Hitting, damage uh, by that Lunara right now. Oh, yeah. See Trunks get out of there. Gazel and Li Ming soaking on bottom. Red's going up to gank the Arve. It's gonna work. It looks like they're gonna get him. Yeah. That's Ooh, they might calling. lose lols. Yep, and they lost lols hard to it. It was it was a trade. It was, it a, was trade. a trade. Not a good one. Not a good one. They could have gotten out. Yeah, they definitely could have. I think lols are got a little too close to the towers on that one. He flew too close to the sun. <laughs> There's some LOLs going off in chat. Yeah, that's worthy of an LOL. I I believe it. See uh, the Haka against this Li Ming. Yeah. No, no one's getting pushed out of the lane. Surprisingly, I thought, but yeah, Li Ming's gonna have to get some mana. But yeah, looks like we got some action going on on top again. Ooh, look at these! Look at these lasers from Gazlo. They're doing a good chunk of damage. Yeah. They're chunking them. Ooh. Oh, they might catch Lunara out. Ooh, nope, nobody's uh, up to counter it. Or, uh, to capitalize, rather. Yeah. That Lunara's playing a fine game. Yeah. Fine line of a game, that is. Very much. Yeah, the Dahak is really pushing down here. The Li Ming is letting it eat in the towers, but... Well, she has to kind of deep on towers. If she's out of mana, she can't do much, and ultimately, you know... Yeah. She can only really hurt him, and he can regen it. Oh, did you see uh, Arve and Li Ming have done the swap? I think this will be more successful for the blue team now. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Plus, Li Ming. Lunara soaking for top by herself. Nope, there goes Gazlo. Interesting. Yeah. You can see if Li Ming gets in any of her trade. Destroy her with lasers. Over. Oh, here That's comes Alzar. Yeah, we got neck and neck with the XP here. It's pretty close, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Arve's going to be caught out by two. Oh, oh, and They're going to get him with poison. Oh, yeah. I missed it. Well, that's not good. That it is really not isn't. good. Yeah. 
The hawk is in trouble, but I think he gives him a good XP there. advantage. No, yeah, totally. It's Plus, they're in a good ten. position to turn in now. If they all turn in, oh man, they might get Lee Mei. Might be lost to poison. Violent oh, game. she's got a uh, yup. And she loses all those gems. That's not they good. They need to pick up those gems. They need to pick up those gems. Yeah. Nope. Not not quick enough. Not quick enough. Damn. Yep. I think Red's gonna get the first turn in if they do this right. Yeah. They've already got enough gems for it. They do. They should do it now while Lee Ming is Ooh, out. I believe they can take Ridley out. But they can't. Trunk says 22. He needs to be careful. That he's gonna be first priority target there. Should be. Yeah. There they go, they're countering the turn in. Oh no, Trunks is probably gonna go down. That was a great silence oh. by Abdel, stopping Chen. Almost got him, but not quite. Ooh, Trunks, don't go back in there. Oh, nice shot, Gazlo! Yeah. That was a good that laser. Good. That's a good little laser snipe. So, what do we think about, like, Lunara's pushing in top right now? Should she be in this team fight? I think she should, because she might be... Blue doesn't quite have enough to fully turn in, but at least now they've evened out the turn in a bit. Ooh, nice... Oh, oh that man. Poke. That poke was just a tenth of a second too late to stop this Sigu's turn in, though. Red team turning in, losing a lot of health. Yeah. I mean, Lunar got a tower out of that, but I'm not sure. I think they could have turned everything in with uh, a little bit more damage. Ooh, the Sigia... He's gonna get out. He's fine. Oh, I don't know. That Gazo laser's giving him boo boos. Yeah. Oh, that Gazo laser's a... been really good. Merc makes a good point in chat that because the Lunar was soaking, they got to seven first. They that, did. That is a good point. They're gonna get eight. True. The race till <laughs> ten is on. Oof. Li Ming's got to be a little more careful. Yep. There goes the red turn in. Ooh, they almost got Cell, though. Not quite. Yeah, red's first turn in. If they use this right, they can get 10 right now. Ooh, Arve at bottom. Ooh, he was getting close. I see that. He is. Ooh. Yeah, so he's doing his thing at top. Yep, they got nine. Oh man, that Chen jumped right on Li Ming. Not giving her a chance to really do her work. At least she's focusing on the uh, Spider Queen. That's a good that's a good call. And the Spider Queen bottom on bottom's sure. already done, yeah. And Mid got yep. really not much in the way of value. Uh, they got a lot of value. Look at how close they are to 10. I mean, yeah, they didn't get well, that yeah. much structure damage, but really they were just trying to get 10. If they could have gotten all six towers down, it, there they go, they're 10. There you Blue go. just pinged point. to 9. That is a strong point. This Gazlo is leading uh, hero damage with 18k on his team. He's also topping siege damage. Yeah, this Gazo's doing some heavy lifting. Yeah. The weight of the Abdel curse is on his shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Oh, poor Abdel. I agree. I don't know, they still they're not out of it. They're definitely not no, out absolutely. of it at all. I think Lee Ming's got to be gonna... careful, though. She almost got licked. For those listening that might not know the Abdel curse, Abdel's a pretty good player, but he's yet to win a game in this turn. No, he has. He's oh, won he's, two. He's won two. He's, or oh, three. Yeah, two out of nine, right. Yeah. It's not been good. <laughs> Look at him fighting with these um, mercs with that spell armor. Yeah, They're pushing right good. up to the towers. Yeah. Ooh. There goes... Joanna pulled right out of the armor. Now she's isolated. Oh, oh my god, body blocked the in the Chen, corner. The Chen that, was, that was that was a good one. Oh no. No, bad positioning on that Stukov, I do believe. Yeah. They all went all they went all in on him. 
I think it was they were trying to pull Joanna out of there, but she just got isolated so well right in yeah. between that um sippy cup and the wall and the Chen in his barrel. That was just really, really bad. That was really... I mean, it was really good on red team, though. That was really good isolation. Blue team's got to do some hardcore soaking right now. I think red's going to get... Also, uh, blue, they need to help Jisa turn in. He's got 36 gems. Like, holy free holes. They do have... Blue has enough for a turn in now, but they're not going to get there. No, nope, not yet, anyway. They got to keep Jisa alive through this one again. If he loses those gems, it'll be real bad. Here we go. What do you think about this? It's, uh... Uh-oh. Ooh, Ooh. I was gonna say it's 4v5 on the bottom. Yeah. Trunk's doing a good job of picking things up, but I think he's oh, He's to trying to, yeah. Ooh. Oh. That was Abdel. not enough, yeah. Abdel yeah. a second Try. away, a second away, but... Yep, uh, that poison. So that was damage. a really rough fight, yeah. I was Gazzle, gonna ask what we think seen. of the Gazlo is trying to deal with the other two web weavers. Like I was gonna ask what we thought of that. If him being in that fight would have been that um much better. I mean, the chance of him dying there would have been real high too. Like, it's true. They did end up I losing think... Fort and three players to that though. So. I think him clearing may have been the best he could have done, given the situation. I mean, I don't know what the best call was there, but... They both seem like a... Yeah. Risk. They really need oh, to on. get... Now Arve, too. They need to get that turn in. Looks they like Arve's really... going for it. Oh no, they Arve's about to eating. die. Yes, he, he went is. alone. Oof. They really oh, needed to help man. him. Yeah, they either need to help him or tell him not to go for it. Oh, look at that. Now they're doing the same thing to Jisa. They're getting him isolated. There oh, we go. No. He just lost all oh, his 50 no. gems. That was so bad. Oh. Trunks picks him up. But now Trunks no, is going to oh, get it too. Deleted. Oh, that was that is decisive. I don't know yeah. why DJ... Uh, because he had all those gems, he must have known they were going to first target him. What do you think his, like, thoughts were? I don't know. Honestly, what I'm trying to figure out is if they communicated that they wanted Arve to go and try to turn in by himself, or if he just went by himself to turn in, but I... That was a very, very, very bad play. Right. We have the Hanzo with 37,000 damage leading the game. I don't think that that wasn't not expected, but he has quite a bit more than Gazlo, which is at 29k for his team. Yeah, the damage all around on blue team's been really low. I mean, there are 12 minutes, and there's only one person at 30,000 damage. Yeah. So, yeah. And here we're going to see a push on top with boss. I think this is going to be really rough for blue team. It is. And in fact, red has enough for turn in. I almost would have liked to have seen them turn in before they went for boss. I don't know, what do you think about that? The boss would have lost a lot of health if they weren't there to support it. Yeah. I don't know that the I'm... boss push would have been quite as effective if they hadn't. Plus, now I mean... when they go to retreat after the boss goes down, then they can do the turn in to cover them. That's a good point. This if is they so even need to retreat, chat. really. Yeah, this is really solid on the chain. Look Ooh. at him. This just scared uh, their whole backline into leaving Joanna to die, basically. Oh, yeah. But by, by just barreling around. Yep. That barrel is just terrifying. It's unbarrelable. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, I'm quitting really streaming like tonight. <laughs> Red going to end the game here. Low health.
We'll, we'll see what happens. Oh man. Well, there's the Lucio might be caught Do you out. think they stayed a little too long? Yup, there we go. Yeah, there's the laser. Stay. Yep. Think they overstayed? Or... Lucio is the only person who has died on the red team. Two yeah. times. Thrice. Yeah. I'm, and I'm not saying that's necessarily bad. I just think it's uh, interesting. The red team has played so good. Only their Lucio, their weakest low HP character. Yeah. They're soft. Who has squishy lower guy. HP actually? Lunar or Lucio? I think... I think Lunara, maybe. All right. So it looks like Blues... No, I thought they might go for a turn-in, but not that they have that much. But Arve keeps getting himself... Like, I mean, he was lucky he got away again, but he keeps, like, isolating himself from his team. What's what's up with that? What's what up with think? that? <laughs> what do we oh, think? Geez. Oh, Jeez is done. Oh, no. That was not Ooh, good, no. That really wasn't, yeah. Oh, Chen that almost goes out. Trugs, don't go for it! You madman! No. That looked so Oof. enticing, though. I can totally see why he'd Yeah, I know. It's easy to get tunnel vision when you see someone at that low health, but honestly, he would have just died. Yeah, I agree. Ooh. Cell almost gets Arve. Again. So what we have in chat is that the red team is way better at grouping up and communicating than the blue team is just not quite as coordinated. Do we think it's that, or are, are the picks the problem? Is it the picks or the, the communication? I don't think it's a picks. Both teams seem pretty good. It's probably communication, because like I said... Arve, through a few real crucial times, has just been elsewhere, you know? That's yeah, super bad. Yeah. Well, now it's Trunks who's elsewhere. They're just gonna, yeah, they're gonna turn on Trunks, speed oh, boost Trunks. from the Lucio, oh, and now buddy. he's down. Yep. It just doesn't make any sense to go in like that, I'm not sure. No, when it's one I don't before. know what that flank plan was, but it was... a. Poor choice. I think it's desperation at this point. Like they're just trying to find get some pick. I don't know. Yeah, but if they're trying to get a pick, I mean, Tank she's not the one who's it. not gonna. Yeah, she's the one who's not gonna get the pick. Yeah, she can flank it and blind, and then what? She's got very low damage. She's not gonna be able to actually seal the deal, you know? Yeah. Ooh, oh, see, Abdel. oh man. Yeah, Abdel. Look at the back. isolation on the team. It's so fucking rough. They yeah. could literally just pull you halfway across the map, the red team, and just do whatever they want with you. And, yeah, it's the Chen isolation and the Lunara damage and poison. I yep. mean, it just works so well. <laughs> that time it was the, uh, the Haka Licky Licky, and then they went into the uh, Chen. Oh, man. Even that more. Was, that was an yeah. interesting... That, that was, was an interesting it. sound barrier by Lucio. Before he burst it before they even engaged. Not sure I agree with that. Not that it particularly mattered, but sixteen yeah. minute game. I thought it was gonna be less one sided than that. I don't know. So did I. But, but there were a few like really decisive I don't want to say throws, but they felt really throwy. They felt like they were trying <laughs> to just throw it away at some right, point. Who got MVP here? Um, Chen. Chen. Yeah, just for isolation. Yeah. yeah. The barrels. No the barrels. Question. The fucking, the wild ride. I want to get off Miss Chen, Mr. Chen's wild ride. 